here at Disney's Hollywood Studios today wearing a uh, Disney MGM Studios shirt that my buddy Adam from the Daily Woo got me. And uh, the weather's beautiful. Been feeling very nostalgic for Disney MGM Studios lately. Surprise. So today we're gonna walk around, find some spots that have changed to see kind of how much this place really has changed compared to two dates. August of 1989, a few months after the grand opening, May 1st, 1989. And then another batch of photos from April of 1993. Just to compare, contrast, I like doing these from time to time. Hopefully you guys like watching them. Now, let's take a closer look. And the weather today in Central Florida is on par. It is a beautiful 66 degrees out here. Very windy. Open skies. And a Hollywood that never was and always will be straight ahead. And all these photographs are from a channel called Retro WDW. Please check them out. Tell them I sent you. Watch all their amazing footage they have of the parks because they are doing they are doing some work and it's really good. So shout out to them and thank you Retro WDW for letting me always use images and stuff from your videos. Now these first few photos take place here at the Disney MGM Studios. Like I said in August of uh, 1989 it was an early morning doing a rope drop and the rope drop family who was filming or actually on this side where Bo is and I will show you a photograph looking straight ahead here they were looking right ahead waiting for the place to to open up Bo were you here I tried to see if I could see you in the shot and I couldn't see you, man. I'm still not sure if you're opening day. But right here was the first spot. The family was looking straight ahead. There was a manager walking towards. They were about to open up this studio that had only been open for just a few short months. And there used to be a car parked on the other side of this pump here, which is Oscars, where you rent your strollers for the day. They no longer have the car here, but everything else looks the same i'm not even sure what kind of car that was if you remember where you can actually tell from this photograph let me know i'm interested in knowing what car used to sit here at oscars so excited to be back in hollywood land not a whole lot has really changed here like the main entrance you know i mean architecturally a few things were added you know the starbucks up here on the right but there used to be a theater over here to the right long before this this whole starbucks thing and and Sunset Boulevard, and you'll see up here. So basically in his video, he like rounded the corner here, and over here used to be a theater. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was the theater of the stars, and then they moved it down Sunset Boulevard. Correct me if I'm wrong. I never came here when there was a theater, but this video is from 1993, and then it panned over here, which there was nothing, none of this was here. All of this was like merchandise. Like they had racks of t-shirts and everything. And then they had a magazine stand over here. This fountain wasn't here, I don't believe. Or at least it wasn't shown. And then it basically went through here. Yeah, there was a magazine stand legit like right here, as you can see in the photo. Maybe this building right here was the, the magazine stand, but it, it was in this general vicinity. And then there was stroller parking straight ahead right over here as well. You can see the Brown Derby in the background. And then where this popcorn stand is used to actually be a times guide. They had a big, large times guide right there. It's a Disney MGM Studios. Now it's a popcorn stand. Now there's a times guide on the opposite side and it's now digital. I believe the one back in the day, they would physically stand there, get updates maybe on like a walkie talkie, a radio, and then pencil it in throughout the day. So basically this whole chunk of the park has completely, completely changed from, you know, May 1st, 1989. This is like the only surviving thing, I believe, of this entire park that says Disney MGM Studios that's out in the open, not like hidden. With Michael Eisner's quote there. Obviously you have to throw this in. Amazing how much this has changed. 
And then it panned down right here and you can see a banner instead of that Star Wars launch bay for the, uh, the backlot tour. So Disney Junior is straight ahead. This used to be, at one point, the soundstage restaurant. Kind of like a backlot themed restaurant. That's what it was at least in 1989. The first photo where that lady just opened that door to where the entrance to the restaurant was. Then also it changed to Aladdin, an Aladdin themed restaurant. I kind of wish they would have kept doing that, like re-theming a restaurant here to the theme of like a studio promoting the movie. Whatever movie was, you know, popular at the time. Does that make sense? It's just crazy that there were two restaurants in here and then it was, you know, turned into, you know, use for like a venue other than a restaurant. Probably because Brown Derby is right next door. And this was the original location for the back lot tour. In fact, the sign, I'll show you in this photo, Basically where it says presented by Hula Packard Enterprise, that's where it was, right there. This was all a part of the animation studio in the back lot to where the animation studio is behind here. And then right over here, a bunch of people hanging out. And it was the animation studio sign straight ahead that sat here forever. I miss that, I do. Not knocking this, but give us back some animation, man. This place was pure magic back then. Straight ahead, you can see how much has changed to the former home of the great movie ride, the Chinese Theater, now Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. A few trees out here. Spires were, are still here now. It's changed quite a bit though. And the family did visit the great movie ride in 1989 because other than that, there really wasn't a whole heck of a lot besides the back lot. <laughs> And they did go to Superstar Television, which was right here, the Hyperion Theater now. As you can see the signage. I miss that show a whole lot. I really do. And then there was a shot of them walking right here. And there used to be a mural painted on the side of this, uh, this building here. I can't make out what's you know on the side. If you know, comment. Let me know that you, what used to be here because it's no longer here. For one, they've added this grassy thing. And I remember when they used to have those statues of the heads, the bust here, like a Walt Disney. Now this is Echo Lake. Looked a lot different back in 1989, as you can see. The water was actually a little darker back then. This wasn't here. There's another fountain, I believe. Incredible that the trash can is basically in the same spot. Mickey Shorts Theater used to be the Monster Sound show and they utilized this building as like a, a radio station for a long time as well. But this was the Monster Sound show. I just thought it was amazing that the trash cans are sort of in the same spot. And they didn't go in for too long, but they did visit the Backlot Express in this whole movie. And the Coca-Cola sign is still here after all these years, but this, this sign used to be different. It used to be longer lot shorter this was the entrance here they went in still looks the same i wonder if you're the same coca-cola sign or if you've been repainted and whatnot now in this photograph you can see the the building back here when it had more elaborate things on top they had a close-up of that in the way and then it kind of panned over and you could see what muppets the muppet vision 3d theater looked like back then from the former home of Streets of America, right here. Be walking, you know, right where those facade buildings were. What I'm talking about is the, uh, the facades that used to be over here, the skyscraper. This building is still here. You can see in the photograph what this place kind of used to look like. It was something else, man. My favorite building right there, still here. Oh, by the way, there used to be a whole like hotel here in a way, like a facade, and they had like a taxi parked out here. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is where it took place, more or less. Not the exact spot, but you can, you can kind of get the idea. It basically blocked Muppet Vision right here. So it created its own like little world through here. Basically right here is where the guy was standing and you can see Mama Melrose straight ahead. And they used to have all these things going across this area here. And they also decorated the Muppet store to the right, the soundstage, the stage one store is what it used to be called. 
Now it's just closed. But this area over here used to have a whole lot more uh, Christmas, if you will, it seems. Now during the holidays, they do decorate it, but both of these were from April and then August, so it wouldn't have made a difference anyways. behind here is where the dip mobile used to be straight ahead behind this gate and then later on in the history of this place that would eventually turn into the entrance to the back lot now long before this was PV's, this was the lakeside newsstand get it lakeside next to echo lake that's what this was and they actually sold like comics and not newspapers but like magazines and stuff I believe like right around here was the Look Magazine stand. They had all the uh, retro magazines from Look Magazine out here on display. I don't think they were for sale though. I hope they never get rid of this because it's awesome seeing that helmet and jetpack there. And there's a nighttime shot of Gertie the Dinosaur here. And I forgot back in the day over the hump back here of Gertie used to spell out ice cream and had different letters up top just like the font you see right here it says dinosaur gertie's ice cream of extinction i forgot it totally did that like it had those letters up there well we did it we ventured back to 1989 and 1993 here at the disney mgm studios once again special shout out to retro wdw for the photos and always putting out some of the best top-notch chef's kiss nostalgic videos of the walt disney world parks and resorts check them out like i said tell them i sent you watch some of the episodes actually in the description link i'll put the videos from each of these episodes that i took the screen grabs from so you guys can watch them so there you go i'll see you on the next episode hey thanks for being my friend and i will see you in the future stay weird goodbye <music>